for lunch we're having uh this weird wild, wild wild oh my gosh wild rice with tuna mixed in looks pretty delicious actually it smells pretty delicious our first lunch i should say we're probably gonna have multiple lunches because we have so much food left over <laughs> Saying this might be my favorite meal we've had so far. It just hits the spot. What about you over there? What do you say? That's really good. Very uh, partial to the Beyond Meat mm. sausages. They were good too. That's not. There's no work involved in that. Yeah. Like, shove it on a stick, put it in a fire. Yeah. So it seems almost inappropriate to choose that <laughs> as a favorite, but mm -hmm. really tasty. On to second lunch. We're going to have some pasta with uh, tomatoes yeah. because, you know, when it's your last day, you have to eat all of your heavy things to carry back. You know it, bro. Also, cheers. Come by. It's been a great vacation. Thank you for coming with me. Thanks for letting me convince you to come into nature, Mr. City Boy. This is lunch number two. And we're going to dinner number one, and then we're going to dinner number two. Keep them coming. Yeah. Our bags will be so much lighter when we leave here, mm -hmm. but our bowels won't be. Yum. Well, depends what we get up to. Uh, this is our segment called How to Make a Pro Master Fire. Birch bark. Which I. <laughs> Ignore all the rest. First, you make this little lean to of tiny sticky juice and then you bite a piece of birch bark and you shove it in without knocking over your entire structure see how that works. and then you put bigger sticks on top but yeah hopefully at that point the little twiggies burn and then you have a fire and that's how fire fires I think you made a fire. Yeah. You know, you just need some big wood. Bring on the big wood. Dirty jokes, dirty jokes, dirty jokes. Here's your big wood. big wood. Put it in there. Put your big wood in there. Baby. This is the most successful fire you've made all trip. That's not true. And now it's about to fall. It. <gasps> I cursed it. I cursed your fire. Fire progress. Um, that right there is a pretty sick bed of colds, boss. Cool. I think we're actually going to have a fire tonight. I think we're having a fire right now. Yeah. What are you nomming on for your third dinner? Smoke in my eyes. Oh, okay. Where's my mouth? Big target. It's hard to miss. Mm. We are playing some bean game. I guess it's actually not called bean game. Bonanza is called, the title. Yeah, um, where you collect beans and you put them in your little fields and then you farm beans. them for coins. Don't tell, but these are my cards. They're actually not that good. Anyway, good times having board games. It's neat that we like, uh, well I emptied out this uh, Sushi Go game and we just filled it up with a bunch of other games that don't need much space, like mostly card games and stuff, so we could fit like It was wise putting games. them in a tin, because they're in the bottom of my backpack, yeah. and that was probably the wettest part mm. of my bag. Yeah, we're uh, playing Japur now. Uh, we've moved on from the, the bean game, and this game is pretty awesome as well. Yeah, just look at all the fun stuffs. This is a rando game that I bought you. Um, it was a birthday present. Yeah, but like... A long time ago. Yeah. I didn't know what it was like, but it was really cheap and it was a two player game, which we often try to find. Yeah. Games you can play with two that aren't lame. We went to an outdoors store thing and uh, we got these meals because I thought it'd be fun to like try some weird space meals. They're not space meals, but like they had like astronauts ice cream you can bring and stuff like that. Um, I chose this shrimp and curry with rice. It's dried and all you have to do is add water and like close the pouch. I wonder if it'll look like that. You have to close the pouch for like 18 minutes with hot water in it, and then you eat it. Oh, and no, this no. one is the one you chose, which is um, lasagna. <laughs> How could this possibly be lasagna? If it looks like this picture, then that's exactly what lasagna looks like. Yeah, it looks like Colorado. Yeah, I grabbed that because I couldn't imagine a lasagna coming out of a bag, especially yeah. a flat bag. Yeah. Just add water, instant lasagna. 
There you go. What is this nonsense? <laughs> Water's boiling. How do you uh, pour boiling water into a bag without... Add boiling water. Just says add boiling water. Seal and let stand. It says add an amount of water. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. So... Measure one amount. I don't know. Is that enough? Is that one metric amount? So. What's it look like? Like mush. Not good, that's for sure. Um, can you Smells good. Note of the time. So we have to set this for. This one you set for 15 minutes. Okay. It's stirring like eight, once 12. or twice. This is lasagna. That's what lasagna looks like. Does that look like lasagna? Definitely. I'm sure it'll turn into some sort of like mashed lasagna. <laughs> All right. So start your timers. Shaky, shaky time. Looks like it's shaking. Doesn't sound good at all. Sounds like wet mush. Shake it like a Polaroid picture, because that's something the kids can relate to. The time has arrived. Yeah. The space food time zone is in the correct orbit hemisphere. It smells horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Utterly terrible. No, oh, it doesn't look particularly good either. To Before be the water went in, I thought it smelled good. Look at this. Why is it so neon? Let's see. All right, ready? <laughs> it's got hard lumps. Mmm, hard lumps. Oh. Oh, you don't like it? It's like a walnut. What the fuck? Mosquito went in your bag, I think. Yeah, well, you can have it. <laughs> Lots of shrimp in that. All the flavors of a shrimp curry with rice are in there. But, yeah, it's... And the nut is what threw it's me. It's like a notch below airplane food for <sighs> it's like, I'm a bag of warm paste. Oh, well, look. What's <laughs> going on in there? Some weird... This has the potential, I think, to be better. It kind of looks like a lasagna. Far superior. Oh? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I really like that. <laughs> cool. Well, we're going to devour our weird goopy Eat mix. Our warm sacks of paste. <laughs> what you doing? I'm um, warming my butt because I think it's going to be a really cold night. Yeah, you better warm up. It's been cold the last couple of nights, but I'm already cold and it's like not even time to retreat. It's really hard to get you in the fire in the same shot, but this does it. So I'm soaking up all of the warmth with my butt. And then you can warm me up with your butt. <laughs> I think we're going to have to put the extra tarp on our tent tonight because it's chilly. Get my saggy sweatpant butt. Please don't go on fire. I only brought two pairs of pants on this trip. Oh, this is so nice and warm though. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Thanks for coming with me too. Hey, no problem. This is successfully the latest we've stayed up, eh? We have this fire, and we're making up the last of the hot dogs, which is there. We're not going to stay up much longer than this, so we don't want a huge fire, but it's got to be large enough to uh, cook this dog. Yeah. The last of our stuff we really should eat before we leave. Yeah, just still that huge log in there. I think we'll have to pour water on it. Oh, nice and glowy, actually. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, 
too. Mm hmm Never seen the moon rise like that. Mm-hmm. It did seem strangely dark. Mm-hmm. It's because the moon was hiding back there. Yeah. We're brushing our teeth. <laughs> the hands from the this. Yeah, and yeah. this noise. <laughs> Is that going to show up, do you think? It does show up. I can see different gradations in the sky, even. Huh? I mean, it won't be super interesting, but... Interesting. You be the judge, internet. Yeah, it's insanely bright um, in real life. That is the fullest moon I've ever seen. Is it yeah, true that wolves like... howl at the full moon? Uh, uh, we think. Still can't see a whole lot of stars. No. There's a few. I won't even bother panning up because I don't think there's any way you can see that. Uh. Uh, maybe I will anyway. I remember being up north sometime as a kid being shocked by how many stars I could see as opposed to the city. This is further north. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna stop the video and take a picture and you can see just how much brighter it is. I guess this is the end of today. Tomorrow we head home. It's been a fun little trip though. It has been. Really glad we went. It's so pretty, it's hard to look away. It's crazy how uh, dark it was a couple minutes ago and the moon came up and suddenly it's really bright. Well, comparatively. Yeah. Good night, camera. Take luck, internet. Look how gorgeous this is. Not just the mist on the water, but coming in over the hills over there too. First order of business. Don't melt yourself. Take the top edge, I think. So Thanks, Larry. I have no skin left. Metal cups are great. But they conduct heat. <laughs> I've got a morning coffee with Chippy. There he is. Hey, Chips. Beautifully striped. Did you want some coffee, buddy? It's right here, bud. You're cute. We're starting to take down camp here. Just sad. Our tent over there is mostly deflated. Eating up the last of our foods. And counterintuitively burning a fire. No, that's not true. To burn up a little bit last bits of our burnable rubbish. 
We will get out of here around 9.30. I have no idea what time it is. Maybe that's not possible. It's about 10 to 9. No, yeah, we'll see. So our last breakfast is going to be a hearty one. Here's some chunky apple oatmeal for you. A little soupy. Oh. I apologize for it being soupy. Looks delicious, thank you. And then also you need this coffee over here. Ooh, it's hot. How's it going there, internet? Hey there, camera. We packed up everything here. Yeah. And uh, the tent over there is totally gone. Yeah, everything's in bags. We dumped water all over our fire over here. Last day, it's about a quarter to 10. And we're gonna head out on a grand adventure shortly. Yeah. Grand adventure. Hopefully, home. hopefully get back in about two hours, but we'll see. Yeah, we're pretty bad at paddling. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty still up there right now, though. Yeah. Very. So. This is a goodbye to our campsite. Yeah, part two. Got her all packed up. But it's uh, the first part of goodbye Algonquin. Yeah. You were really good. Ooh, bump, bump, bump. So far the water's pretty still. Let's see how long that lasts. We're on our way home. Goodbye, Algonquin. This is my leaving song. I make it up now. That's how the lyrics go. Who do you like it? Approaching our first portage of the day. This goes from Laurel Lake to Aura Lee, I believe. All right. Goodbye, Laurel Lake. You were a good home for four days. Ready for our portage? Can you carry it with your backpack on, though? I think so. Okay, yeah, sure. A few inches later. Made it to Aura Lee, and we did the thing we wanted to do on the way over. Yeah. Did a single portage. We each had our own backpack, but, uh, I carried all the rest of the stuff and you carried the canoe. Yeah. I'm glad we got the lighter canoe because it's brutal. Yeah. It's white. Out mm. of shape. City folk. Let's put the boat in the water. We do not condone, but also when you're the captain of your own ship and you just did a really good portage, <laughs> you gotta have a swig, right? <laughs> That's My, pretty uh, good. Yeah. What are they called? Sand people? Oh, I thought it was Chewbacca. I guess so. Pretty I was good. thinking of the they'll be back and in greater numbers. Uh, yeah, we better get out of here. Tuscan Raiders. That's what they're yeah. Called. Over here, though, uh, is where I stayed last time I was up here. Uh, it was much windier, so it took all, most of the time just to get out of Cedar Lake. And this is as far as we made it. But that was about a decade ago. I'm glad we made it further this time. Good job, friend. Yeah. You're a good job, friend. I'm a good job, friend. Little island. Yeah, that is where the, the entrance to that campsite used to be. You can see it there. I thought that the entrance had been on this side. See it? You have a good memory. I can remember things from 10 years ago. Coming up on the train bridge again. Just gonna let the canoe basically do its thing and see how we do. We might have to steer a little on this side. Oh, look at those reeds and things. I don't know what kind of plant that is. Perfect. This is a really old train bridge. It says 192. Does that mean it was built in 19... 
Wait, am I missing a last number? Maybe it's built in 19, 1921? One side's always blocked off. I don't remember which side was blocked last time. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now this part up here we had trouble with last time because there's a lot of low rocks so we might have to put all of our cameras down just to yeah. make sure we don't. It's beautiful part though. This might be my favorite bit right here but uh, it's not easy but a fun challenge. Great. I wonder if this all looks the same on camera or not. Well, looks different to me. <laughs> we made it through the rapidy part. Now we're right at the mouth of uh, the main lake, Lake Cedar. Or Cedar Lake, whatever you want to call it. And now, hopefully, the hard part doesn't begin. We will see. Thanks for uh, correcting our path there, Wind. Well, it's home. to bring you to this site because it has uh not only does it have like these train tracks that go in here oh they're more dismantled than they were last time they were just straight train tracks going into the water and you could see them really clearly and there's train wheels here and there's train wheels here which is pretty cool eh? ready to do some deadlifting i'd love to go for a swim <laughs> uh but i'm afraid we run out of time there's also some like debris back here there's like an old mattress and bits of a cabin if I remember correctly. Let's see if we can find those for you. Look at that weird shape of a tree. It's like a saxophone. And it's even got like a little bit over here. It's like That's a the doop. spit valve. <laughs> That's so cool. And here, you might be able to see there's a oh, yeah. old Box mattress. Spring. This used to be, I believe, a logging cabin spot. Does that date back to like the 20s or something? Like yeah, or older. They said they built cabins on top of the older cabins oh. from the first uh, wave of logging. There was like all the cedar logging first, I think it was cedar, and then they switched to different hardwoods because they ran out of... I guess one way to be more sure would to be uh, researching how old box spring mm. is. Some kind of leftover coil do. Kind of looks like one of the springs or something. It is metal, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's metal. Cool. Coming around our last curve, which is deceptively like, you know, the eighth time I've said that, but this is definitely the last curve, um, before we get back to the Brent store and return our boat. That's where our adventure will end, at least for the canoeing part. And then we'll probably check out a crater. It's been really good. The last little bit was a bit rocky. Hey? Eh? Yeah. 
was. choppy and I, I'm glad that we're paddling the way we are because if we were going against that it would have been really tough um, but yeah it, not much to complain about it was wonderful and now I'm not even paddling so I mean there's really nothing to complain about <laughs> I guess I should get back to helping made it back to dry land Anything left for me? Life jacket, water bottle, boat okay. itself. Want to say goodbye to the canoe that was your friend? Bad canoe. You never did give it a name. I guess Swifty. KW6. It's Quagil. We should just call him Gil. Does it look like G-I-L? Gilly. Yeah. For the gilly weed. For the gilly flower, sorry. Gilly weed from Harry Potter. Gilly flower if you're reading Game of Thrones. Goodbye, buddy. You're a good friend. Yeah. All right, ready to trudge some bags up to our car? Phase two. Yeah. Phase two. How many phases are there? Phase 43. <laughs> I love the sign. I'm not going to take the whole trail, but we're going to at least go to the viewing point. Um, this crater here is a uh, caused by a huge asteroid. Um, a giant meteorite hit the Earth about 450 million years ago. I bet it looked like that. It caused a 250 meg megaton explosion equivalent to 250 million tons of dynamite. It's traveling between 11 and 22 kilometers per second. Crazy. Resulting in a 3 kilometer wide 600 meter deep crater. Apparently the water in the bottom is super super clear too because of whatever uh, space minerals. Yeah, space things are in a space crater. Funny, yesterday we were eating space meals. Now we're gonna go check out some space garbage damage. Yeah. So over there is Tecumseh Lake. I don't even think you can see Gilmore Lake, it's probably over here. You can see how there's a crater, eh? Like the rim, all around this edge. See it? In the center is like a little bubble. Yeah. Did it say how big the meteor was? 150 something? It did say down there, I forget. I don't think it was 150 kilometers wide. It made a crater that big. I'm pretty sure it said how big it was, so mm. we can go back and okay. take a look. And just like that, we're in Quebec. Detour. trip is over but we did not go home as evident by some of this footage if you know what Canadian places look like. Somehow I convinced Holly perhaps to both of our detriment to uh, take a detour to uh, Quebec. A two-hour detour. Yeah in search of two fours of tall boys named after French women. Tall girls let's be honest they should be called tall girls. But, uh, I found the French women beer in, in other various shapes and sizes. Yes, they were all tall. Anyway, I purchased this beer and I hope it's worth uh, all this, like two hours out of our way. Yeah, they made it. West Coast IPA. Yeah, the IPAs are probably the best. For an IPA mm -hmm. fan. Tastes like a tall boy named after a woman. Uh, this one's pretty tasty, I think. I'm not sure how to describe it, but um, I do think it's delicious. 
we have saved the best for last. Uh, this was my favorite out of this particular haul. At least the cutest for last. Look at her little face. Yeah. Girls look cute in glasses. Science fact. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's less kick you in the face than the other IPA. Not as strong, but uh, more refreshing. Good stuff. And she's got glasses.